Hello, my loves. I'm here with your reading. Excuse my appearance. It was a late night last night, but it was a good night. I did miss my live. I apologize to everybody. This is the deal. And this is one of the things I had to learn when I started watching my teacher, okay? You cannot make somebody the center of your world. Life's going to happen. Things are not going to come out on time sometimes. There are things that I'm going to end up doing, places I'm going to need to go. Last night, I decided not to do my live because I chose to be in person. To be honest, I don't have enough people in my live to show up you know, regularly for anyway. I had a bunch of people that were waiting at a lounge that wanted readings, and that's where my time was spent. And I spent hours doing back-to-back -back readings at this lounge for everybody in there that wanted them. People that had never had tarot readings before, they were, I mean, it was incredible. When I tell you there was a second where I realized I was living in my purpose, and it felt... So I'm not going to cry because I've been all this morning. I've just been like so grateful because y'all don't understand the amount of work, the hours, 111, um, hours that I've spent learning, um, trying to grow and put work into myself and just all the education and things. It's all coming out into this. And with those readings last night, their reactions, the tears, the people that I helped um, it's incredible, incredible. And I was like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. But it was like that interaction, that personal interaction, those readings were so on point. And I chose that that's what I was going to do. I was going to personally interact and make change with where I was in the present moment. And the virtual, you know, it just y'all ain't there hey right? i mean y'all gotta show up for your girl i see i get the analytics i see who watches how long all that okay but y'all gotta start showing up for your girls a lot of people last night that i met that are now following me have been watching my videos the whole time i ain't getting no like i didn't get a friend request nothing where y'all at with y'all support y'all want me to show up yo um every once in a while throw me a like okay anyway moving on to your reading this reading was like literally like to the point okay and it's good so let's get into it there's some sort of temptation addiction bondage something that you are being told to look at what temptations are holding you back from achieving your goals okay it's time for you to face your fears it's time for you to get real to look at what it is that's stopping you from getting to where you gotta go because you are a leader it's time for you to step up it's time for you to step into this leadership position, okay? There's something that you need to close out. You're not fulfilled. There's You're not connected with where you're at right now. And it's time for you to have confidence. It's time for you to step into your creativity, into your passion. And it's time for you to lead with compassion, with warmth. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to change. It's time for you to travel, communicate with the people that you need to communicate with. Because you have a new beginning coming in inspiration, creativity, all this coming in for you, artistic expression, okay? Right now, you may be feeling burned out. You may be restless. You may be overthinking. You might be feeling trapped. There may be some warning signs to whatever this situation is that you need to release and you weren't paying no attention to them, okay? You, you were definitely ignoring, okay? Feeling trapped. So what they're saying is, is now it's time for you to release yourself. Release yourself from this bondage okay can you see that hold up release yourself have the confidence bet on yourself and start taking action to get out of whatever this is that you're feeling trapped in because you got celebration coming in celebrating with friends communicating community because you have abundance your abundance your luxury your lifestyle your success all that coming in for you your independence material comfort emotional stability okay your happy family Okay, all this is coming in. All that's coming in. Material wealth, financial security, security, family, tradition, legacy. How can I create financial stability, security for my family, and future generations? That's what you're looking at. But they're saying here that you're going to need to be optimistic, okay? Your thoughts become things. Your thoughts become your reality. And there's a need for you to keep an open mind. And keep in mind that you create your love life. You create your love life nobody else okay so there's a need for you to pay attention to your mindset 
okay? Make sure that it's not negative so that you can bring in what you want to bring in. There is a relationship that is going to be deepening within the next few months in regards to love for you. Whoever this person is, they you're thinking of, they are the one, okay? They're letting you know that this is the one. This is the romantic partner you seek. You've already met them, okay? But there is a need for you to be grateful for the love that's already present in your life so that you can attract more in, okay? That for you to attract this person in, you need to be in a loving state, okay? Law of attraction. You've been manifesting this relationship. Everything that you want will be yours soon, okay? There is a need for you to take a leap of faith. Only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you be able to reap the rewards, okay? So let go of fear. Take a leap of faith. Have faith that your angels got gotcha. you. Okay, so there's definitely choice here about you having faith, paying attention to your negative mindset. Your angels are working behind the scenes to bring in your relationship. Okay, so there's a need for you to have faith. I got you some cards here on your love that's coming in. I got the civil servant card here. So this could be you or them. Civil servant, public off public official, guardian of public good, administrative duty, public administration, okay? I also have the lover's card here, love, romance, reproduction, infinity. I have the elder's card, wisdom, bearer, experience, tradition, kindness, health. And then I have here the barber card. I do not have a stylus card. So this is a stylus card too. It is the master of tresses card. So somebody could do hair, I also have the soldier card here. This could also be, if it's not soldier, it's somebody that's very loyal. They have a lot of honor, integrity. They give their, their self, like, self a service, okay? And then I have your diviner. This is my psychic card. Somebody could be very spiritual. They could be psychic. There's somebody that has a lot of insight, foresight. They see the unseen. They have a cosmic connection, okay? And then I have here learner, seer, seeker of knowledge. So this person is very inquisitive. They're making lots of progress. They're learning a lot. They have lots of aspirations, and they are like an explorer. They go after um, knowledge, okay? And then I have here detective, somebody that's investigating the truth, following the clues, pursuing the truth will be unveiled. There's somebody that unveils the truth. Okay. Somebody could wear a lot of black clothing. I have here the obese card. She's not fat. She's just a little thick. Okay. <laughs> I have the dimples card here. High cheekbones. What else do we got? Somebody could be very short. Somebody could have tattoos. Somebody could be very fashionable. Somebody could have blue eyes. Somebody could have wavy or curly hair. And somebody could have a baby face. Let's see what we got for your career. I was already nosy as good. <laughs> You guys are being called to step into a leadership position, okay? It's been all throughout this reading. Something about you stepping into this leadership position, this power position, okay? You're being promoted, called to lead, time to step up, guide with compassion. This position that you're in is a means to an end right now. You are voyaging into a whole new realm. You're going to be enjoying new experiences, discoveries, okay? Yep, ending. This position is going to be terminated, okay? But they're saying not to worry that opportunities that lie ahead, um, there's more opportunities that lie ahead. There's going to be a change in your career entirely. So there's going to be an ending to the current position that you are in, and you're going to be moving on to something better. They're saying not to worry about this. Embrace the change, okay? Your purpose is unfolding slowly, okay? It's going to come in steps. There's things you need to learn. There's things you need to do, okay? They're saying that the greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly, okay? You're growing as you learn. Keep expanding. There's going to be some fast changes. Rabbits could be significant for you, but there are fast changes coming in. You're going to need to adapt to these changes, okay? There's going to be changes in your job, um, changes in general that you're going to be called to like work through and go with the flow. Lots of changes in a short period of time, okay? I have here settling. Do not settle in any job, okay? You can create the job that you want. You don't have to settle for these nine to five jobs that you go to because you got to, because you want the paycheck and you're not creating from a passionate place, okay? No more settling. You're taking off. 
into this leadership position. They want you to look at possibly managing your finances, getting prepared, okay? Because there's a big shift that's coming in where you're gonna need to take action and follow your life purpose. There may be something you need to learn. You may end up being a teacher. You may end up being um, working with children or something like that along those lines. But there's a need for you to plan out your career, okay? There's a need for you to tap into your creativity, express yourself creatively, okay? There's been a lot of ups and downs when it comes to your finances. They're saying that money's coming in just as fast as it's leaving. They're saying that you need to look at planning out your income, managing it, okay? There's going to be some changes coming in with your finances as well. Yep, windfall of money offering, okay? So this windfall could be a pay raise. It could be just one lump sum that comes in. But whatever it is, it's coming for you, okay? There is a need for you to validate your past. You did the best that you could with what you knew, okay? Now you need to take those lessons and apply them moving forward. But there's no need for you to like go through guilt, resentment, regrets, all of that, okay? These lessons came to you to prepare you. They they were going to come whether you liked it or not, okay? Be grateful for the fact that you learned this lesson and you're not repeating it anymore, okay? So accept, integrate, okay? Don't judge. So there is something that you're being asked to receive. It's a gift, a universal gift, okay? They're saying come in the form of love. It could come in the form of that job offer, money, okay? You could start getting a lot of like healing energy to where your vibration rises and that people start complimenting you more. Whatever it is, they say that it's coming in for you. They're saying to see this, realize that this is them showing you that your hard work is paying off. Acknowledge it, be open to it, okay? So when love comes in, don't push it away. I was telling that to somebody last night. <laughs> Anyways, there is a need for you to declutter, okay? There's a need for you to declutter your mental and your physical. There's a need for you to let go of the old, what doesn't serve you, all of that, okay? Create a sacred space for yourself, a place where you can sit down, relax, unwind. I was telling this to a lady last night. As a Virgo, I'm very clean, neat, organized. But when I'm scattered, when there's a lot going on, it shows in my environment. If I notice that things aren't neat and clean, I know that up here there's a lot going on. There's a lot of jumbled up energy that I need to release, okay? So if you look around and you see that you've got clutter in your space, that's what's going on up in here, okay? So there's a need for you to declutter. There's also a need for you to declutter your life, okay? There are people, places, situations that you need to assess and figure out if you want to take them forward, okay? Clear your energy, refuel your energy, reclaim your power. Spiritual baths, so you can get you a bath and put you some Epsom salt in that joker. Get you some essential oils. I have frankincense, I have myrrh. They are from the Bible. They are, they smell amazing. And the funny part about it is if you are somebody that does not, like you'll notice that it'll deter people that aren't in a higher vibration. They won't like that smell. Spiritual people that are like in a higher vibration love it. It smells like cologne to them, but you'll deter away people that are in a lower vibration with that. Um, I noticed that. And now I start to like carry it around and there's like a little one. It comes in my um, big jar of oils and I can carry that in my purse and put it on my wrist. And I use it as protection. Actually, I might sell that. I might start to sell some of my protection oils and things like that. Um, yeah. So there's a need for you to reclaim your energy. You could also buy some sage. They got it on Amazon. Um, this one here is dragon blood dipped it. So normally it's like a white sage, but this one is dipped in dragon's blood. Um, you can buy dragon's blood incense as well. Um, and just burn those. Those are a lot cleaner and a lot less like messier, but yeah, you can light one of these. I use these if I just want to do like quick saging around the room or if I want to sage these cards or whatever. Um, sometimes I just burn them just to burn them because I think they smell good. Um, so yeah, stuff like that to clear your energy, spiritual baths. Um, so yeah, when I do the spiritual baths, I'll put some essential oils in there. I have, I am big on, um, integrating the mother Sophia, um, and I believe mother, father, child. Okay. So I think that there was a lot of things that were repressed, um, from the Bible in regards to the feminine and her role. Um, so I am now integrating the mother and what I've learned. I've already gone through Christianity. You know, I know about the creator father, where's the mother at? So there's a lot of that into integrating that. And, in. um, so yeah, reclaim your energy, 
do whatever you got to do to do your spiritual bath. I also burn sage while I'm doing my spiritual bath. I listen to energy clearing music while I'm doing it. And just that's a spiritual bath for me. Okay. Some people, there's a lot of other ways that you can do it. Um, but then you can also sage. Okay. Moving on. There's a need for you to just be, allow yourself to be, you don't have to prove a damn thing to anybody. Your confidence is going to flow through when you are divinely you. So there's no need for you to change. There's no need for you to put on show prove to nobody. Your actions are going to speak. People are going to notice. People that really want to notice you, they're going to notice. There's no need for you to prove. There's no need for you to change. None of that, okay? And then they're saying, have faith. Remove doubts, questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. It's already yours. Hey, hey. So step into it. This leadership position. That is your reading. Take care. Oh, wait. I'm lying. It's not your reading. Look at this. Look at this. There is an ending this is going to bring balance to your life. They're saying to move on because endings bring healthy new beginnings. Okay? Yep, love ears. There is some sort of a love connection coming in from me, for you, but you may need to release yourself and release the old so that you can embrace the new. There are some fears. You thinking the worst, thinking things are going to turn out the way they did in the past that are getting in the way of what you want to bring in, okay? Expecting the worst, being afraid of failure, wasting time on negative thoughts, okay? There are some signs that the universe has been sending in for you. Signs, synchronicities, clues. They're saying to pay attention to it. Okay, acknowledge these. There's a need for you to listen to your body. There's a need for you to mentally and physically unwind and get rest, okay? Good times are coming ahead, but it's coming from hard work. You're going to be spending time in good company around good people. Divine timing is at play in your life, okay? So this is the time for all this to start coming in, okay? Everything has a higher purpose, okay? You putting in the work is going to help bring this in, okay? Action, that's what you have to put behind all of what you do come up with a plan put in the action if you don't put in the action you're not going to see the results okay successful people put in action every day they get up every day they show up every day okay and when things look like they're not going to come through when things look like it is the worst of the worst of the worst they don't give up because a lot of people give up right at that point right at the brink when they're about to make it Okay, so there's a need for you to put in action so that you can achieve these goals and start building your path to success. There's a need for you to let go of these limiting beliefs because they are holding you back, creating roadblocks for you. This negative mindset. Okay, I told a lot of people last night about the um, going online and listening to positive affirmations. I told them, look up the street poet. She's awesome. She spits love into your day. Okay, there's a bunch of different people out there, motivational speakers, all kinds. So find somebody that you resonate with and listen to them. Okay, have somebody speak life into you. If you if it's me, whoever it is, somebody speak life into you on a daily basis so you can change your mind. Your manifestations are on the way. There's a need for you to have per, uh, patience and faith that they are coming in. There's a need for you to accept past and current situations and work through your issues gracefully, okay, in a graceful manner, accepting, being open to change, new experiences, new people, new places, different, okay? It's going to lead to your awakening. There's a realization, a shift, a discovery coming in for you, a shift, okay? Be prepared, 1818 on the clock. Take care.